Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at the very basics of pivot tables, a really, really handy tool to dig through a lot of information or a table of data. It can be for beginners, it can be for experts, but we are going to talk about the very basics. So let's get started. So as you can see here, we have a table of information from a motor vehicle dealership, it has the date of the sale, the salesperson's name, the branch, the color of the vehicle, what type of vehicle, quantity and value. So first thing I'm going to do is highlight the data set. And one thing you've got to make sure with pivot tables is that no column heading is blank. It has to have something in the column heading. So I've highlighted the data set. I'm going to go up to the ribbon, select insert. On the very left, you can see pivot table. And now it gives us an option of where you'd like it. You can do it in the existing worksheet. I'm going to select new worksheet and press OK. You can see now we have our new tab called Sheet 2. I'm just going to quickly rename that pivot table. You don't have to rename it if you don't want. And we'll get started digging through the pivot table itself. So a really easy way to explain a pivot table is it is a drag and drop feature of Excel where we've got the information from our previous table and we're just going to drag the information as we see fit. So first things first is you click into the pivot table icon that we have here on the screen. And you can see that the fields have popped up from the table in the previous sheet. So let's build a really simple pivot table by selecting one of the uh, fields over here from the table on the previous tab. Now you've got four sections. You, you can put it into the rows, which puts it down to the left. You can put it into the columns, which brings it over to the top. You can use it as a filter, or you can add the values. Now, this will make more sense when we go through, so I'll simply select the full name, and I'm going to bring that into the row. So now it's summarized the table before with all the uh, full names, and it's just brought out each individual unique name here. Now, simply, I would like to get the total value of vehicles that each of these salespeople have sold. So I'm going to grab the value and I'm going to bring it into the values section. And you can see this is the total sales of vehicles. And we can just make sure with this by going back into the other table. And you can see I've highlighted the total values and the total is 26,300,000. And we've got the same value here. Unfortunately, it's not in currency, but that's an easy fix by selecting the down arrow in the values, going to the value field settings, and it gives us a few options, including number format, where I'll change it to currency. And now we have the values of each of those salespeople in currency format. And the next thing we're going to do is just to make this pivot table uh, go that little bit further by bringing a, another field across the top so we can have a bit more of a summary. And to show you this example, I might pick a product, which is the motor vehicle type. I'm again going to drag this, but this time I'm going to drag it into the column section. And you can see now over the top, we have the types of motor vehicles or the product. So very simply in the table, we have down the down the left the sales people and across the top the sales of each of those sales people broken down by the motor vehicle type and the grand total as well. Now another thing you can do is actually nest the fields within another field so by that I mean you can actually drag the product we'll take that out and we'll drag it back in under the rows. So now it is displayed a different way with the salesperson and each of the types of vehicle underneath the salesperson's name with a summary at the top. So it's just a really easy tool to use where you can drag and drop to the way you like it. And 
we'll just go through one other feature which is we'll use the filter and we'll take the filter and maybe put color into the filter and as you can see at the top here now a little filter icon has uh, appeared and you can simply go and select that filter and what it will do is it will filter the pivot table based on your selection so you can select multiple items or single so we'll select multiple we'll click all to remove all the ticks and we will select silver and white vehicles and now what that has done ha is filtered that table to silver and white vehicles only in the format that you've selected now that's a really really basic summary or a get start with pivot tables I hope that helps you out I will create some more videos with further intermediate and further beginner uh, pivot table instructions so if you like what you see and you want to see more please subscribe to the channel or click that like button and I hope to see you again another time